In this quick tutorial on Premiere Pro, I will show you how to keep the shape of a mask rectangular. Took me a while to understand how to do it, so I'm very excited to share it with you. I will use Gaussian Blur as an example, so I would apply it to this clip in here, and then I will go and select a four point polygon mask. And as soon as I select it, it creates a rectangle which is already predefined. To make it clear, I would apply 100% blur approximately. So we got this. You can easily move this blur when the symbol becomes like a hand. So we will move it in here. Now, how can we keep the sides of this rectangle straight? As soon as you select a corner and start moving, it just moves that corner and the shape gets deformed. I'll undo this. So to keep it rectangular, what you need to do is first just click on one corner and if you look carefully at that corner, it has become a solid square. That means we have selected that corner. So hold your shift button on your keyboard and then select another corner and these two have become solid now. And now you can just pull this as if you're pulling just this corner and you can see we are pulling in a straight line. So the line stays straight. So we do the same thing in here. So leave your shift button and then press this corner. This becomes now a solid square and now hold the shift and keep your left mouse key on this corner and now we can just easily pull the whole line and keep a perfect rectangle without deshaping it. Now imagine you want to make this rectangle to scale up. That means the width and height of this rectangle would proportionally increase in size. In order to do that, hold your cursor outside one of the points of this rectangle. You can see how my cursor looks now. Now if I would just hold the shift key and move my mouse a little bit, the shape of cursor changes and you can see two black arrows pointing to either directions. Click on your left mouse key and now drag it and you can see the rectangle is homogeneously increased and decreased in size. Once you're done, just leave your shift key and we are done. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.